Hi guys, so um, this morning I've just been doing some of my quiet meditations again. So um, I thought I'd record this. I usually do these recordings for myself, for my archives. So um, if I share it with you, you're blessed. <laughs> so as I was sitting here, I was um, I just thought to myself, like, what are our goals for doing certain things in life? Because um. Recently, I had this thought and I always ask myself, why am I doing this? What do I want to achieve out of this? Because I find that if we don't know the reason why we're doing something, it's very easy to get off track, to um, lose focus. You have to know why. And I find that a lot of things that people say I have been successful in doing or I've been successful in achieving, it's because I knew why. I had a goal. I knew, okay, I wanted to do this, this, that, because it helps me achieve that. So, um, and I thank God for that realization, because there are a lot of things we do in life, and we just do them unconsciously. But it's a blessing when we come to realize that, okay, these are the principles that work for us. Write them down, because they are your own Bible. It's your own your own sort of, um, would I call it a map in life, what works for you. And when you know what works for you, it's such a blessing because um, in different situations, you just apply that, you know. There's so many ways that, that, that the Spirit of God speaks to us, you know. Some people want the spectacular, but then the supernatural is being led by your inner man from the inside. You, the, the little things that you hear every day in your heart, write them down. There are things that work for you. <laughs> They're your own nuggets. <laughs> so um, today, um, I was just thinking about a particular project and um, asking myself, why am I doing this? Um, my goals, you know. So that, and, and writing that, knowing why you're doing something always, uh, also lets you identify when you've been successful at it. I love the dictionary meaning of success. When you achieve a goal, you know, when you can say, yes, it's finished. Um, so... This is what I wrote down because um, I remembered um, someone saying to me, oh, you're very successful. You have a PhD, um, you know, and, and I never saw it like that, that having that meant that I was successful. Um, I've been successful in a lot of different projects and there's still some other things that I would love to attain in life. <laughs> so um, sometimes I don't even see myself as having gotten exactly what I wanted, you know. For example, I wanted to be a medical doctor, and I'm not. <laughs> so, um, anyway, this is the statement that came to my heart, and I just thought um, I'd record it and maybe share it with um, one or two people. It says, um, I'm not successful because I have a PhD. I have a PhD because I am successful. You get it. So you can apply that to anything in your life. If you... People in the world, like... A lot of people say... Oh, this person is successful. And that and that and that. But... Success is on the inside. The ability... To... To reach a goal. To achieve a goal. Is already on our inside. And a lot of times... People happen to do what it is that they are good at. They've discovered that they are good at something. They might not even have known they were going to be good at it before they started. But in doing it, they discovered they are good at it. So they achieved that goal. And the world says they're successful at this. Right? And they might be able to replicate that success in another place. So... You might say, I'm not successful because I have this or I have done that. I have this because I am successful. You are successful. You carry success. And I'm a Christian. So um, Jesus Christ was successful in what he came to do here. It was a specific thing. And he kept that goal. He knew why. He always said it, you know, when you read the word, it's for example, he said, I came that they may have life. So that was his goal. It took him 29 years to prepare. 
and within three years, it spread. Over 2,000 years later, we are still talking about that, that success and it keeps spreading. So, just to end, success is on your inside. And I only discovered it by being in Christ. Um, I have achieved whatever I've achieved because I am successful. And I just want to share that with you today. You carry success in you. And it's going to change your whole mindset. That is the gospel. That is good news. Good news. How do you feel about this good news? You already carry success. You have the ability to be successful. Okay? So you're not trying to chase success when you already have it. Apply that success to different areas of your life. May God show you those things that he has deposited in you that you are good at. So that you can have more and more testimonies about applying that ability of success that he has placed in you because when you truly discover that which you're good at you're good at many things you've been successful in so many other things have a success list you know i've been successful at this i've been successful at that meaning i've achieved this goal and that, 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 that. you know and being in christ we always give him the glory and that is your bearing fruit okay so you are successful. You already carry success. Begin to apply that success in every area of your life. And may God help us to um, discover more truths about all the blessings he's deposited in us. Amen. God bless you. <laughs>